Hello everyone. Welcome to our journey through the 90s with Ultima Underworld and the Stygian Abyss. And we will be journeying onward. Going past the gobs. Alright, I need to pull up the map and see exactly where we are. Up here at the Green King. Alrighty. We're going to fill in the last little bit of this, and then I know one of these is the rooms that had the keep out sign, so we will examine these as we come back down. Alright. Um, this way? Yes. Tell you what, let's just jump down from here. There we go. Don't think that fall was high enough to actually hurt us. What did we have? 21 of 36, so, yeah, maybe so. And unfortunately, that means we had to go back up the ramp. And the rooms are up there on top. Seems my steering has gotten a little better. All right, the first room here is the room with the goblins in it. The mellow gobs. We'll take a look around here. I know there's a room in the back we did not get to. Ooh. Mellow goblin. And this, I believe, was the upset goblin. Yes and the keep out sign so all right for now the keep out that's right here is that correct no that's straight ahead of us that must be like the private treasury or something and it did allow us to go through here and i believe this must be the king's chambers Hope I don't get on the other side and see a uh, keep out sign. Bedroll. I don't need one of those right now. So we will not steal it. This is just a water pool. Either a bathing area or possibly a toilet. You never can tell with the cobs. Okay, and then we're back out where the king was. I'm just looking to be sure. I didn't remember there being a keep out sign here. So, unfortunately, I don't think that uh, I would really hate to already tear out my welcome. So, why don't we try, what do we got to barter? Hmm. Do not. Some old weapons. I wonder if they would accept those. Perhaps. One thing I do want to do while I'm standing here before I walk off is watching the tapes. I do remember the tapes. I show my age. Watching the recording. I do remember that the chief's lieutenant mentioned something right at the end of our conversation about worm stew. So let's see if Lanugo has anything else to talk to us about. Come back from me stew, had the smell brought the don't blame the tis a good stew. There we go. What kind of stew? I, me mother used to make it. That takes a rotworm, chops it up fine, and marinates it in port wine mushrooms. Port with mushrooms. Here, just all written down on this. All right, so we have a recipe for rotworm stew now. I thank thee kindly. All right, excellent. Hmm. 
This is something I've really been wondering. Mandolin. It doesn't say it belongs to anyone. Now, over at the outcast camp, whenever you would click on something and it belonged to someone, it would say, belonging to a goblin. Let's pick it up and let's see if anybody happens to notice. He's mellow still. He's mellow. Okay. That looks like we got away with that. I don't know what we're going to do with a mandolin, but uh, once we get away from the area here, I'll see whether or not I can play it. way into that other room from back here. Yes. In fact, that's the only other way to go from back here. And I'm sure this is food belonging to goblins. Um, the skull there bothers me a bit. Belonging to a green goblin. There is a skull. A piece of wood. Another either bathing pool or toilet. Uh, the more I think about it, the more I'm um, going to assume toilet. There we go. Bedroll belonging to a green goblin. So Definitely, uh, we have confirmed that we don't want to pick up anything that belongs to anything. Unless we kill it first. Cauldron. Can we look in the cauldron? Can we use the cauldron? Cauldron is empty. Okay. Let's put it back in default mode. Um, I'm going to try bartering with this here goblin. You again. You got nothing better to do? Um, I wish to trade with thee. Maybe. What you got? Okay. He is throwing us a... Badly worn cap. A... Deo piece of meat. And five coins. Um... Alright, that's not bad. Let me see what we can... How about we throw... One cudgel. Badly worn hand axe. Let's throw a badly worn hand axe. Um... Ooh, I didn't even know I had that. A sling, badly worn sling. I think I've got two slings right now. So we'll trade him a sling. And how about sling bullets? Oh, come on, let's not be that greedy. Hmm, excuse me, I must think about this deal. I think maybe I am getting a terrible deal. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's take back the sling. And let's take back the bullets. Okay, you right click and you get all of them. How about this one? Let's think about the deal. I think I am getting a terrible deal. Um, well, maybe, but... I don't mind losing the hand axe to see how things go. I make thee this offer. You make no sense. Okay. Well, I do not wish to barter any further then. Farewell. 
Apparently, I may have thought I was getting a terrible deal, but uh, the goblins thought they were getting one, apparently, as well. So, let's see. I'm going to get down from here. Pick my hand axe back up. I don't want to talk to that. I want to pick it up. Alright. What happens when I equip the mandolin? No, I don't mean throw it into the bag. I mean equip it. Play the instrument. Wow, according to the mandolin, um... Has the sound of a trumpet. Once again, that wonderful MIDI music. And my torch has burned out another time. So. And I don't have enough mana. Oh dear. Alright. Um, I do not believe that there's a spell that I can cast to get more mana. So we may have. What do we got? Still two points. I guess we will have to go by torchlight for the moment. And just keep an eye out for whenever I get my third mana back. Alright, have I seen all that the gobs have to show me? No, we've got this passage off... No, 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 no. That was the room with the bench. So we have seen everything that the gobs can show us. Okay. And let's see what we have down south. Looks as if this is... This has to be the little room here that I was in that had the lurker. It was. There's the platform that I was trapped on with the lurker. That apparently I could not climb up this ledge. Good. Okay. Definitely getting our bearings here. What do we got further this way? Can something like that shock me? Oh, uh, no, you don't. Did I kill him? I don't remember hearing the victory music. But I don't remember seeing that red blood splat there either, so maybe I killed him. Ah, more rats. Upset. Ah. the swing won't catch the other rat. Very good. Alright, we definitely got the victory music this time, and let's leave our sword out just to be sure. Let's back this way. Is that another upset rat? Yes. And that one's mellow. 
All right, we're not getting attacked actively. Have we got enough? Yes. Let's light up our torch. And put that one back in our bag. Okay. I don't like burning torchlight whenever I don't absolutely positively have to. At this point, I am going to stop recording for a moment. Okay, I am now continuing to record. Alright, let's see what we have here. We have four somewhat used candles, so we would definitely pick those up. Looks like perhaps we lost another uh, adventurer here, maybe. Our encumbrance is down to six. I don't think the... They call it in the uh, manual six stone. I don't think they actually mean stone in the British sense. Can't imagine the candles weighing as... Weighing enough to uh, drop things by a stone. And a bottle of ale. I think I believe a stone is 20 pounds, is that correct? A somewhat used torch, and we'll throw it in the box as well. Okay, so we replenished our light sources some, and managed to get a bottle of ale in the process. And we have a passage that goes to the left here. Yeah, we did have passageways going up there. Okay, I was about to say, maybe there's a secret there. To, no, I do remember there was a, a couple passages that we need to try. Sturdy door. Can we use it? Alright, let's try our keys. Key doesn't fit. Ah, the silver key did. Oh my god. We are definitely in uh, battle mode here. What the hell is that thing? An imp? A hostile imp. And I think he is just about to kill us as well. Ah, we did get a hit in on him. He's running. Let's go get him. We got him in the yellow. If we can get him in the red before he gets us. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. hit level three and I'll throw in the ding. All right. We are really down. While I'm thinking about it, since I didn't remember earlier, let's get out of combat mode. Put on our vest. There we go. Very Robinson Crusoe-ish now. Uh, sorry, taking a little sip of coffee. All right, and let's see what we have here. A bottle of water. I see a pouch. All right, let's back up a little bit. I won't drop the pouch until I make a, get that down. Let's pick the pouch back up and put it down here. What did it have in it? An unblemished ruby. What a wonderful find. And six coins. All right. I can certainly see why. We were getting such a uh, 
Warm reception from the imp. A ragged scroll. Can we read the scroll? Oos pour for large jumps. All right, so we've learned another spell. Oos pour. Okay, how are we on the map? Looks like we have completed this area, and we are going to move right up here next. So we will travel to the west, and then back to the north again. I just love this music. Sturdy door. Is it locked? It was not. Okay, let's proceed cautiously. And let us see what we can find here. That was a goblin. I don't think he was wearing red. to the sides. Upset goblin. At least one of those two goblins is upset. So, upset does not mean he will attack. That would have to be hostile. However, that hostile one, yes, one just like that. And I should have rested up or done something before I came against the goblins. Okay, well, if we lose here... Ah, very good. I'd say if we lost here, it would give us a very quick trip back to uh, the Silver Sapling. Which is where a worn buckler, some sling stones, it looks like torches, a ruined sling, a loaf of bread, I will definitely take that for right now. No place to put that. So we filled up one bag. Can I put it in there? Yes. Alrighty. I'm going to upset okay Whew. I am going to at this point travel back to the silver sapling right here uh, not the silver sapling I'm sorry we're gonna travel back to the onk shrine which is right there we're going to once we get there I will chant and get some experience and then we'll go down and hit the silver sapling room again so those are the plans and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. And we will save game this time. Number two. And we'll call it Level Up. Excellent. See you next time.